There was once a time, not too long ago, when we thought we were invincible. The biggest, baddest force on the planet. We lived in relative peace, without real fear that anyone, anything, could challenge us. But one morning in March 2011, we were invaded by a force that we never could have imagined. And things, well, things will never be the same again. This just in, there have been reports this morning of as of yet unidentified objects that appear to be falling into the coastal waters off Santa Monica. Early reports are that these objects might very well be meteor... Well, well are you sure about this? Okay. We, we have just received word that similar occurrences are being reported in Buenos Aires and Tokyo. It is not yet confirmed whether these falling objects are meteors or some other unexplained weather phenomenon. They really thought it was a meteor shower. They didn't take long for them to change their minds. We were getting sent into the heart of it. And no one needs an arsenal to clear out a bunch of space rocks. We have analyzed film of the falling objects and their trajectory from satellite imagery. These objects are slowing down substantially before impact with the surface of the water. I think the implications of this are pretty clear. Yeah, they were clear all right. We were under invasion, and it wasn't the goddamn Taliban. Phase two, we had three hours. Three hours to evac some civvies hold up in a police station in Santa Monica. We needed to get in and get out before our birds carpet bombed the area back to the Stone Age. It was easier said than done. There were just a few of us, Staff Sergeant Nance, an old timer with a bad reputation personality to match. But man could he lead. When all was said and done, he would turn the tide of this war. We're almost there. Hang on. So, you girls ready for a fight? Hell yes, Staff Sergeant. Hell yeah. Good. You listen to me, you just might get out of this alive. You have to roll down. There's no place for landing here. All right. Everyone out. Use the ropes. Move, move, move. Give me some cover! 
down! Get to cover! Cover fire! Ah! Give me some cover! Oof! Covering from here! Suppressing fire! All right! Are you hurt? Shots hit me! Sergeant Santos, Air Force, 61st Wing Intel Unit. The rest are National Guard. What happened to you, Tech Sergeant? I was part of a five-man team working on signal intel, tracking enemy transmissions. We got onto some massive RF signals. Then they nailed us. I'm the only one who got away. I assume you were ready to use that weapon, Tech Sergeant. I did a tour with a joint unit in Afghanistan, Staff Sergeant. So yes, I'm ready to get some payback. Careful with your radio, Staff Sergeant. Ten minutes ago, we called headquarters. And you see what happened. Aliens rushed to our location like hungry dogs. Thanks for the information. Do you want to join our unit? Run right into the police station to evacuate civilians. No, Staff Sergeant. We'll stay here. Take care of the wounded and wait for the chopper. Do you need help? Negative, Staff Sergeant. Good luck. Let go! 
got me. civilians from that police station but with the aliens controlling the skies there was no way we were getting out of there by air we needed to find some transport or we'd never make it out alive one of our guys hotwired a city bus and we made our way out to Santa Monica as quietly as we could when we hit the freeway we thought we were finally out of the danger zone but we were wrong those air units are gonna find us won't make it out of here that attitude but that for sure We'll be in the clear soon. Just keep it together. Look, the freeway's blocked. There's a fight going on. <sighs> I told you. But there was no way it would be that easy. Quiet! Stop the bus! Harris, take the civilians out. Santos, Imlay, follow me! Imlay, get on the Humvee! Man the turret and take out as many of them as you can! <laughs>
safety and wait there. What's your plan? Inlay and I are going to distract the alien air unit. We'll catch up with you outside the bombing zone. Now move out. There's no time to lose. See that gas station, Marine? That's our goal. We need to bring that alien air unit down there. If we can get it to hover low enough, we should be able to take it out by blowing the station.
out of here ASAP. zone with no time to spare and while we managed to save the civilians things were looking pretty grim carpet bombing never happened the aliens controlled the skies and with them los angeles had fallen word from hq was retreat and regroup but nance had another idea in mind hey you know i was thinking we checked out the alien ship we took down it was empty no pilot these ships they're they're drones, but they somehow managed to fly in formation. What do you think this means? Don't know, but something has to be controlling them. And if we can figure out what it is, maybe we can destroy it and take back the skies. Damn it! My controls have gone haywire! Brace yourself! Looks like we're going down hard! Phew! We're good now. What the hell? heavily guarded. I wonder what they're doing there. Yeah, you're right. But something is causing powerful radio interference all over this region. There has to be something important down there. Something big. Santos, that's it. Command and control might be down there. Get the helo down. We need to recon that area. Doesn't seem to be anything around, Staff Sergeant. We need to search the area. Stay close. Be ready to fight. Ow! Ow! Uh, Emily! Try to flash the walking guns and take them out! We'll hold them off until you finish the job! into the sewers. Let's see what they're hiding down there. Okay. We're all here. Let's go. Strike on this thing. We 
we destroy it, the skies over Los Angeles will be clear of the enemy. Enemy command and control assets located grid 459083. We'll be lazy code 657. Say again, code 657. Box truck 2, we are confirming code 657. 3M712 is in route. Inbound in four minutes. Good. Now we've got to hold on to this thing is level to the ground.
against alien invasion no matter how dangerous it becomes. Earth needs to be saved, because we're the Marines, and the Marines don't quit. <laughs> 